Good morning, Guardians. Welcome back to Destiny Tracker. My name is KillerB61. It is exactly 5.08 a.m. on Friday, and we know what that means. Zura is here, so today I am giving you my recommendations for this week's inventory review. Let's check it out. So this weekend, Zur is chilling in the reef. He couldn't get over the wall, even though there is a huge hole in it now, so he came to the reef this week. He brought us some interesting items this week, the first one not being this gross special legacy engram. Buying this is like throwing your strange coins into the trash, honestly. So the ACDO Feedback Fence Exotic Gauntlets for the Titan, they are very good in PvP when you have a lot of clap-happy warlocks giving you trouble. This week it has a little strength roll, so if you do pick this up, I suggest you re-roll them immediately. Next up, we have the Bones of EO Exotic Nikes for the Hunter. This has always been a great exotic to have, especially in the raids when you have to do the jumping puzzle. Having an extra jump is amazing. This week, you get an Intellect Discipline roll, fellas, so nothing to laugh at here. And right over here, we have the Heart of Praxic Fire Exotic Chess Piece for the Warlock. This chess piece significantly decreases your ability cooldowns when Radiance is active, making this a fun exotic piece to run in PvE, especially since every Warlock turns into Oprah when they self-res and they're giving away grenades to everyone with a pulse. This one has an Intellect Discipline roll as well, so happy days for the Warlocks. Hard Light is getting an honorable mention this weekend, and I say honorable because this gun used to be the bee's knees, but now it's not worth much in the Crucible at all. However, it will look super cool when firing down a tight hallway, so that's a perk at least. Zur's weapon bundles for today are really good, offering the last word with the addendum ornament, and the red death with the white witch ornament. The last word is a great exotic, one of the better ones in the game. It excels in the PvP space, so pick one of these up and go show Dredgen Yor that you're not that scared of Thorn anymore. The Red Death is seriously my favorite gun. We have a love-hate relationship together. I love it while it just absolutely hates me. It doesn't do anything anymore. This poor gun has been nerfed so much. It makes me so sad to think about. It took me almost three years to get this stupid gun, and I bought it from Zur. I never earned it like a man, but I don't care. I wanted this gun since day one because it looked sweet and I owed it to myself to buy it. Each of these can be purchased using 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust, so definitely give each of these guns a look-see. But that being said, I am all done here. My name is KillerB61. You can find me on Twitter at Amin underscore Lamkita and KNK Media here on YouTube playing my favorite games with no semblance of, prof of professionalism at all. Seriously, just none. Like the video to let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell icon to make sure you never miss another video. Leave a comment on this video telling me about the exotic that is near and dear to your heart and exactly what you had to do to get it. And I will see you in the next video.